Namaste. Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to give a quick update. As I'm sure that many of you heard, I had a bad fall a uh, week and a half ago. Um, got up in the middle of the evening to get myself a uh, drink of water and make some toast. And uh, going back to my room, I uh, hit something slick on the floor, and down I went. And uh, I hit the uh, Japanese table that I have and uh, broke two ribs. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, it was, it, I didn't, I, w I wish I would have just fractured them, but no, they were absolute breaks. So, it, at the moment, I'm sitting here at home and I'm couch surfing for the next uh, <laughs> uh, number of weeks. I guess it takes uh, a good six weeks or so to uh, heal, and uh, but I, I can say that uh, thank goodness it's getting better day by day. Um, <clears throat> the uh, bruising has gone, but uh, you can still feel a big lump in there where the um, bones have not knit together yet. But uh, I assure you that I'm going to be fine, and I wanted to thank those, the, the people that sent a uh, Get Well card. I appreciate it. Thank you for thinking of me. Um, but again, you know, I, as we get older, the bodies start to wear down. I was also told at the same time that I have the uh, arthritis in the neck, and uh, I was told a lot of years ago that I have arthritis in the back. So... Uh, Anyway, just again, part of the body begins to wear down uh, as we age, part of the process. Um, but anyway, as you can see, I'm, I'm in good spirits. Uh, I, I am doing well. Uh, it will heal. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had to miss the uh, motorcycle rally up in Leesburg. Um, that's life. So anyway, I wanted to make a quick comment too. Uh, uh, this uh, anybody that knows uh, this, uh, what's his name, uh, the guy up in Canada, who in his latest video says I'm a biker chick with tattoos. Well, my tattoos all have to do with my spiritual path. And uh, as far as being a biker chick, I'm not a biker chick just because one has a motorcycle and rides it does not necessarily make them a biker. I do not ride with the Hells Angels, neither do I ride with any motorcycle clubs. Why don't I? Because I don't drink. A lot of them do bar hopping. I'm not into bar hopping. I just enjoy to be out and enjoy the wind and the breeze and uh, nothing wrong with that. Anyway, so I want to make an, uh, another quick comment as to this gentleman and coming online to show all his big credentials, etc. that he has for his hypnotherapy. Uh, anyone can check this out. Um, the school that he went to was not accredited until 2006. Uh, he went in the 80s. So unaccredited course. Uh, most of their courses are taught online. And uh, he does rebirthing. He said 100 hours of rebirthing training. So what, a couple of weeks he studied and now he's a master at rebirthing. Uh, in the, the problem was when he began was claiming to be a psychotherapist. Well, he's downgraded that now to hypnotherapist. But he's still not a, a therapist in anything. I mean, uh, anybody can take an online hypnosis course. Anyone could take 100 hours of the rebirthing. As far as his Dharma hypnosis, which he claims is a combination of Advaita and hypnosis, now that's absolutely ridiculous. Advaita is going beyond the body and all of that. Dharmic has to do with the form and the path that uh, you could do a dharmic hypnosis, but Advaita hypnosis doesn't make any kind of sense whatsoever. So that's uh, 
again, take it for what it is. Uh, if anybody wants to look up the truth of the matter, uh, they can see that from the hypnosis associations that it's an unregulated field, that um, some of the, in fact, you can read on one of them where they go into a long thing about the, the, uh, the, the problems that they have in that field. Since it is unregulated, anybody can claim anything and get away with it. it it's not a regulated profession. So, uh, again, um, he wanted to try to make it seem that he had all this wisdom and knowledge. He's uh, gone to Self-Realization Fellowship. He belonged to the Hare Krishnas. He's read some books, so now he thinks he's an authority on everything. Okay. <laughs> Good luck with that. Uh, I wouldn't call that an authority. Uh, you know, a lot of people have read a lot of books, and they've dabbled in this and dabbled in that. does not make one an authority. He claims that his kundalini had two experiences where he felt it from the bottom of the spine up to the top of his head, and it wasn't realization. Well, of course not. Two limited experiences are not a kundalini awakening. He's been sadly misled. Anybody that knows anything about kundalini, once it opens and it's a genuine awakening, it stays 24 hours, 7 days a week. It does not close. So this idea that he can sit here and judge what's come out of 30 years of practice, 30 years of journey, because he had two fleeting experiences, is absolutely erroneous. To think that a hundred hours of some class that he's taken makes him a master, oh, and a Reiki master, which you can take in a, in a weekend course, again, uh, <laughs> it, it's just, I mean, it would be laughable if it weren't so, this is what they call a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. People dabble in this and dabble in that and then think they have the wherewithal to judge a 30-year and lifetime's worth of experience. Okay, well, good luck with that. You can have your own personal opinion, whatever you want to have. I don't have a problem with that. As far as his bandwagon that uh, you can't be genuine if you eat meat and you teach Kundalini, and I'm, I'm not a Kundalini yoga instructor, there's a vast difference between a kundalini path and a kundalini yoga course, okay? <laughs> between night and day. One has nothing to do with the other. I am not teaching kundalini yoga. Again, mistaken facts. This man does not even have his facts straight. Um, so, it, it, as far as eating meat and kundalini, uh, the, the Buddhists, the Dalai Lama eats meat. The, uh, they work with kundalini. They all eat meat. Maybe you should go and uh, talk to them. There are a lot of factions in Hinduism that eat meat. And so you can't say that somebody can't eat meat and be a Hindu. That's, again, another fallacy. You know, um, if you had read the texts from ancient texts on the Hinduism, you know, uh, then you would see that you couldn't have been a good Hindu if you didn't eat meat. Yes, they would kill the cow, the calf, the, when, when the guests would come and they would feed them the meat. Um, in case you're, you, you don't know, Buddha also ate meat. He died from tainted pork. Now, whether it was poisoned or it was just tainted because it was old and bad, one doesn't know. But again, that's another fact. So, um, you know, if people want to come with facts, there's no problem in, in that. But when people make assumptions, there, there is a problem with that. Uh, oh, it's Jolicoeur is the last name of this person. I uh, also wanted to say that when he says he got tired and just didn't have any more to say about me because he got tired of it, no, and, and he took the videos down. He didn't take them down 
by his own hand. Uh, YouTube made him take them down. If you see copyright infringements, and again, he's doing the same thing, putting my photo up on his videos, which he has no... Um, he's not authorized to do that. It's another copyright infringement. So uh, this, this person... Um, you know, he needs to get a few life lessons, and hopefully he does soon, um, because, uh, I mean, it's just sad when you have somebody that wants to persecute a path because he doesn't like the fact that we eat meat, and he doesn't like the fact that some of the women here are celibate. Okay. So I think uh, he needs to get over himself anyway. Um, I want to get back to the healing. I am doing well. Um, the healing is coming about slowly by slowly. Uh, unfortunately, I'm relegated to the couch until I heal so that I don't uh, uh, re-break it um, by doing work. Um, so I'm not used to sitting. <laughs> Not used to sitting on a couch for the last week and a half. It seems like it's been three months. It's only been a week, a week and a half at this point. But, uh, yeah, it seems like at least three months instead of a week and a half. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to assure everybody I am getting better, and I so appreciate those that sent the cards. That was so sweet, and thank you for that. And namaste. I hope everyone's having a, a wonderful life. And uh, again, you know, um, you have the right to live the life you want, and you will learn lessons no matter which way you choose to go, uh, but try to make uh, beneficial decisions, and uh, that's all. Okay. Hi, everyone. Bye.